Hello everyone, I'm Maria Mustafa and today I'm going to be talking to you about our work, Religion and Women's Intimate Health, towards an inclusive approach to healthcare. This work was done in collaboration with Nova Ahmed and her team in Bangladesh and Masita Ghazali and her team in Malaysia. We present findings from a three country study exploring the intersection between female intimate health and religious beliefs. Through a qualitative study with Muslim female populations in Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Malaysia, three different Muslim majority contexts, we examine the deep impact Islamic beliefs have on female intimate health and well being. The intersection of religion and female sexual bodies and health is a neglected area within HCI, and we highlight how inextricably specific Islamic values are linked with women's reproductive health in Muslim communities. Most of the existing body of work focuses on the external, cultural taboos, lack of education, and the lack of access to safe spaces. In contrast, our work focuses on the internal, Muslim women's own beliefs and perceptions that determine how they understand their own sexuality and sexual being. We further discuss the opportunities and challenges of designing technologies for religious, non-secular beliefs and values with the aim to improve intimate health practices among Muslim women and to broaden the scope of health design within HCI. We conducted semi-structured interviews with 40 participants in all three countries. All interviews were conducted among Muslim women who belong to three different socioeconomic stratas across Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Malaysia. All the interviews and sessions were conducted in local languages, Bangla, Urdu, Punjabi, and Malay, by five female researchers. Given that this particular study focuses on exploring religious beliefs and perceptions and intimate health, we chose to interview women across all age groups and across diverse socioeconomic backgrounds. We wanted to understand if the perceptions of Islamic beliefs and health varied across educations or socioeconomic strata. Our study reveals similarities in how and which religious beliefs and values impact health across all three countries and all socioeconomic backgrounds. We found in all three contexts, uh, Islamic beliefs form a central theme to how female intimate and reproductive health is perceived, how it is managed, and the specific types of informational resources available to women. In, in particular, there is a deep connect between the belief in parda and haya and women's perception of their own intimate bodies. And this in turn impacts how and what kind of knowledge is sought and understood in offline and online spaces both. And religion is an important framework through which women attach value and meaning to health and health behaviors. Studies on persuasive technologies for promoting health behaviors focus on tracking audio and video feedback, social support, motivational messages, and positive reinforcement as some strategies for behavior change. However, these strategies are targeted towards a general and often secular Western audience and do not leverage the opportunity to design for and include inherent belief systems for motivating behavior change. The primary source of habits and life choices for many people globally are rooted in religious and spiritual motivations especially in communities where religion is still a controlling force, not just in everyday social life, but also health practices. Based on our work and our study, uh, we present two mechanisms for incorporating religious beliefs and values in the design of technologies. Firstly, reframing of secular goals, framing secular goals with respect to better intimate health within a religious worldview and values. So for example, Instead of appealing to the importance of regular self-examinations for breast cancer for better health, instead reminders for self-checks linked with God's commandment to take care of the physical body. Similarly, instead of appealing to liberal Western ideologies for shift in attitude towards sex and sexuality in Muslim communities where these topics are considered taboo, it might be more fruitful to appeal to the Quranic and religious texts that highlight the importance of a full sexual life for men and women both. Secondly, Contextualizing and prioritizing beliefs that hinder better intimate health with religious commandments that might take precedence. Often there is a perceived conflict between secular goals and Islamic values, like exposing oneself to a breast exam, even if it is a self-exam, violating badda modesty by touching one's intimate self versus the religious beliefs of preserving one's health. In this case, it is important to contextualize the belief in badda with a higher belief in maintaining one's health, even if it means seeing a male doctor. For more details on specific design guidelines and details about our work in the study, please see the paper. Thank you.